I say in a lot of my videos, you have to review your timeline, rude boy. So the way this video came about, obviously, man does the live streams, cuts them up, puts them on TikTok and YouTube. So man took one of the snippets, put it on TikTok, and in that snippet, I was saying something along the lines of, imagine you as a grown ass man, you as a father, imagine your son comes up to you and says to you, Dad, what have you achieved in the last decade of your life? And obviously, as I'm watching the video back and I'm reading the comments and that, I was thinking like, yeah, obviously, I know I've achieved a lot in the last decade of my life, but what exactly have I achieved? And I started to think back like, right, well, okay, at 21, I've done this, 22, I've done this, 24, I've done this, whatever and that. And I thought, was like, All right, okay, boom, I'm going to make a video about what I've done in the last decade of my life, basically from age 20 to 31. 31 right now and I thought you know what let me just do a video about everything that I've achieved from day one so that's how this video came about so everything I've achieved so obviously from naught yeah from the day man was born to 15 man didn't really achieve anything but when I was 15 years old, I achieved my black belt in Taekwondo. Previously, man been training in Taekwondo for like seven and a half years. So I started at around age seven years old. And by the age of 15, in 2008, I achieved my black belt in Taekwondo. At the same time, 15 years old, 2008, Obviously, as you lot know already, if you've lot been watching me long enough, you will know say that man used to buy and sell crisping drinks in school. And I was so strict to myself, I was so dedicated to the task that like I would get money and not spend it. I'd literally just keep reloading, keep reloading, keep saving, keep saving. And by the age of 15, I had 1,500 in savings. Now, fair enough. Some of it. 300 pound of it might have been birthday money. But the fact that a 15 year old can even come into 300 pound, let alone 1500 pound, and still save and retain that money, i.e., not spending like a damn fool at 15, that's an achievement in itself. The following year, 09, I achieved five C's. Two C's in maths, two C's in English, and one C in science. So obviously, 2009, when I was 16, that was obviously year 11 GCSE. In 2011, I achieved my level two in electrical installation, and in all 11, I was 17. Two thousand and thirteen, I uh, completed my level three in electrical installation and the AM two. So the AM two is like the electrical exam that determines whether or not you're going to be an electrician or not. So it's like the final big boss exam. Now the reason why there was quite a big gap between obviously me passing my level two and passing my level three is like a two or three year gap, and that is because man dropped out of college. Yeah, man was doing that road. You know, I'm trying to say I was on the wrong path and that man got lost and that and then eventually I got an apprenticeship and obviously it takes time to then go and recomplete the level three because what happened was obviously man half completed the level three dropped out of college went prison whatever doing all nonsense and that got an apprenticeship went back to college had to still complete the remaining part of my course and the modules and that so that's why it took me all the way up to 2013 and 20 years old and it just goes to show like Yo, if you drop out and that, you can still pick up from when you left off, you know, continue. So, same year, 2013, still 20 years old, I passed my driving test. First Ross Clark time. Done my driving test in Barnet. Uh, Could have failed, but I didn't. I remember walking into the driving test centre. It's one old mashup building and that. It, it, it has like, if, if any of you lot have been to court, God forbid, it gives me that kind of court vibe. 
I don't know if it's just that test center and that. Well, I've been to other test centers, you'll find out. But I don't know, it gave me that kind of court vibe and that like judgment day sort of thing. Like, even with the deco and that, ain't no pretty place in there, innit? And when I went in there, I saw the look on certain people's faces and they were on tilt. They were looking bammy, shook. To certain people, they're not like me, walking in there for the first time. That's their fifth time going into the Ross Clark Test Centre. And that's so certain people were shook. They don't want to fail again. So, same year, obviously 2013 at this time, I was 21 years old. I graduated, so they promoted me at home to Harringay. So, although I passed my level three electrical installation and the AM2 and that, they will still pay me as an apprentice for a few months. Eventually, obviously, they promoted me. So, I went from earning eight, nine hundred pounds a month. To 1,800 a month and that's where I began my journey saving up a thousand pounds a month pretty much so that I could obviously buy a property later on but that was in obviously 2013 I was 21 at the time so the following year obviously man still 21 uh, but this is 2014 I won an award best attitude to learn it now if you lot have been following me long enough you lot will remember me saying in some of my videos that like certain man cut off their nose to spite their own face and let's say for example on a Wednesday we would finish college at 12 o'clock lunchtime but the tutor said yo you officially finished college now but you know what yeah the workshop's free and available for the next three hours you lot have got your AM2 coming up 70% first time fail rate yeah I suggest you lot go in a workshop and do some practicing and that because obviously there's certain things that you lot might fail on and that so it's best to just go and get some practice and that. Them man there were a bit too confident, over cocky and that and said to themselves, you know what, nah, let's not bother. Forget forget staying in um, college and that. Let's go home early or let's go to the pub and that. So um, I was the only individual that used to stay after class you know, when I could have went home and studied and that, even just for like one hour, two hours and that. So they saw that as like, yeah, let's let's give him this award. Now, what happened was the college actually phoned me and they were like, yo, um, there's a little certificate waiting for you. But like, um, we want you to come at six o'clock to come and get it. And I'm like, why? Why can't I come at a different time and that? They was like, oh, no, we just think you should come in it like... They're, they're giving out some other awards. I did, they made it kind of vague and that. So anyway, man went to this, it was some apprentice sort of award ceremony and that. Anyway, I got that award for um, Best Attitude for Learning and that. So, yeah, same year, but obviously these times, I'm 22 now. Um, I started and I completed the inspection and testing. Now, I actually failed one of those exams. I had to come back and, and redo it and that was the first time in my life I ever failed an exam I never failed the exam ever in my life until then and really I probably only failed it by one or two marks but a fail is a fail so um, yeah passed my inspection and testing in 014 when I was 22 a couple of years later obviously 2016 I was 23 years old started a vending machine business at my uni that was a good local run for a little while still because I had it for a few years after. I had one vending machine in my uni and the next one in a community centre in Islam. Right, just off of Caledonian Road, if you know that is around like Holloway sides and that. Uh, 2016, I was 23 years old, passed the electronic engineering uh, HNC. So I've got a HNC in electronic engineering. So I don't have a degree. I basically got, let's say, if someone was to start a three-year degree, they complete their first year, but then they drop out in their second year, I got that certificate. If you complete your first year, complete your second year, but in your third year, you don't get a HNC, you get a HND, which is a higher national diploma. And then obviously, if you complete your third year, then you get your degree. So if you only complete the first year, you get a higher national certificate, HNC. If you complete your second year only, you get your higher national diploma, which is your HND, and if you complete your third year, obviously you get your, your degree. So um, 
Yeah, I've uh, got a HNC. So basically, HNC is a foundation degree. I've got that in electronic engineering. 2014, 016. Sorry, 24 years old, 016. I passed my motorbike test first time. Again, could have failed it, but uh, yeah, passed it first time. So that was a good looking one. With the bike test, it's split into two tests. So with your car test and that, like with the car test, you do obviously your theory test, which is like the hazard perception and that. You do that for your car, you do that for the bike as well. But with the motorbike test, hi, it's a bit different to the car test. Is With the car test, you do one practical exam out on the road, 45 minutes. With the bike test, you do two exams, two practical exams. One's for 15 minutes, riding inside like a confined area around combs, you know what I'm trying to say, like doing manoeuvres and that. And then the other part of the test is out on the road. So you've got uh, the motorbike examiner behind you on a motorbike following you. So you're on a motorbike riding on your own, then you've got an examiner behind you on a separate motorbike following you. Now, the way he's able to communicate with you is because he's got earphones, like you've got earphones and that radio set and that. So he can talk to you, tell you stop, pull over, um, turn right, turn left, whatever, and that emergency stop and that. Sometimes they they do it where the examiner don't have a car, uh, bike, so he's, he's driving in a car behind you, but it's the same principle. It doesn't matter what vehicle the person is in behind you, as long as they can keep up with you and that. Motherfucker could do it in a lorry to blood clot, yeah? So yeah, man passed the test first time. Um, yeah, that was that was probably the best day of my life to be fair. Cause that was the day I actually got confirmed for something else. And that something else is basically in December of 2016, I think it was the fifth, and it was a Friday. Basically, I got the call to say that my offer. On my first property, which is this house right now, I've got five properties. Is this house right now got accepted by the vendor? I was waiting like two weeks for the vendor. I put in an offer of 136 grand. The vendor was nowhere to be found. On the MIA or whatever they call it, missing in action and that. Uh, couldn't hear from the vendor. And then eventually he was on holiday. I think he went to like Oman or somewhere in the Middle East. And he got back to the estate agent and said, Yeah, tell. The potential buyer, I accept his offer and then I bought his property. So that was in 017. Um, so the offer got placed in 2016 December, but I actually completed on a property in 017. Um, yeah, so February 2017, and I was 24 at the time. So I bought my first property when I was 24 years old. So, see, like I said, the first property was when I was 24, 2017, February. Later on that year, in December, I completed on that Egyptian flat. So, I bought that flat in Egypt. The following year, um, well, I'm 25 these times, man, I started JYS TV. Now, certain man say, oh, you're reaching, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? That's not an achievement and that. Do you know what? It wasn't an achievement starting a JYS TV, but the achievement is sticking to it. Okay? It's almost been six years man's been on YouTube and that. Man ain't got, man's not getting the views that I deserve, but you know what? Man's still here. Perseverance, rude boy. Just because things are not going my way, I'm not going to drop out. Like, you lot might think everything that I touch turns to gold. Like the JYS TV logo and that, but it ain't that, fam. Man fail at a lot of things. It's just you lot see the wins and that. You don't see the losses. Obviously, man's on a winning streak now, but I wasn't always on a winning streak. When man was getting mash up and that and mashing up man and fucking up my life and that, I went on a winning streak. Yeah, I might be winning some battles and that, but blah, man's, man's effing up my uh, progress in life. So... Do you know what? The achievement is not starting the JYS TV thing. The achievement is sticking to it for five years and not getting the results that I want. I don't give up easily. Certain man, blood man, listen to these YouTubers and that in America talking about if you ain't got uh, 10,000 subscribers in the first six months, give up. Big man, it's been five years. I don't have 10,000 subscribers. I've just about got almost 2,000 subscribers. I'm still in here. Still going strong. Man, stand firm, yeah? So then I bought my second property in 2021. I was 28 at the time. 
So that second property is a, my first buy to let property that I bought. I then wrote and published my own book. Go check it out. You see, that was when I was 28 in 2021. Conquering Adversity by Jelani Knight on eBay and Ross Clark Amazon too. Get your hard copy and get your uh, ebook version. So the hardback copy is on eBay and the ebook version is on Amazon. I think this is a little bit of an achievement. Again, my man says, oh, you're reaching, bro, you're reaching. My videos are published in the prison system. So, man, them all over jail. They all know, man. Liverpool, Weatherby, Isis, Felton, Doncaster, Lindholm, the Mounts, Bear Joe. They all know, man. I don't even know these, man. I all know, man. I even bumped into you the other day in KFC. I'm, I'm in the toilet. I looked over at a man. A man's looking at me. Not like that. No homo. Yeah, I'm washing my hands. Yeah, he's washing his hands. I'm washing my hands. And um, he said, Jado. And I said, nah, Jay Wise. He's like, oh, shoot. He's like, yo, man, you, man was in the mounts. Or no, he was, he's, I think he said he was in Doncaster or Lindholm. He's like, yo, man, be watching your videos, you know. I said, yeah, yeah, respect, bro. I've even met man on jobs, tenants. Yeah. Man talking about, yeah, I'll just come out of the mounts and see your videos, you know. Crazy. In 2022, man's 30 years old, bought my third property, which is my second buy to let flat. Uh, yeah, 2023, 31 years old, bought my fourth property, which is my third buy to let flat. And then 2024, again, my third property, uh, fifth property, 31 years old, 2024. So this will be my second home. Um, I'll be moving from here to there once I've completed the works and that. So, yeah, my, my man's done a lot, man, still. I beg you lot, review your timeline and write down a list of things that you've completed over the last decade of your life. Or, you know what, forget decade. From, your, from the day you was born until now, what have you achieved? You should have a long list. Don't worry about if you failed a lot of times. Listen, in order to su succeed, you've got to fail. No one just succeeded on the first thing they tried. Maybe that one or two percent of people, but most people, they have to try a lot of things to succeed, yeah? They gotta fail a lot of times to succeed. So go out there and start failing, yeah, so you can increase your chances of succeeding. I want every man to write down a list of what you've achieved from the day you was born until now. And look at that list and ask yourself, is this Ross Clark list good enough? Is this acceptable? Would my forefathers be proud of me. If you were someone like me, yeah, my complexion, you understand what I'm trying to say? Will your ancestors that were slaves, would they be proud of you, what you've achieved? Because I don't know. 110%, my ancestors then will be proud of me. They'll be like, yo, at least this one's doing right by us. Could your ancestors, you believe in God, could your ancestors in heaven, if you believe in God, would they be looking down and be proud of of you or would they be disappointed that you're smoking weed and not making nothing of your life so time to get to work boys stay well time